Hi folks, my name is Colin Hill from All's Water Swim Place and here I am in my endless pool. Now this is where I coach people daily. So I remember worrying when you're a coach and then you video yourself and look at your own stroke. Um, then I'm more used to looking at other people's stroke. But uh, just interesting, I thought I'd show you my video just after this little introduction and just try and show you what I'm trying to achieve. I don't always do it. I mean, when you video somebody in their endless pool, you get to analyze every single stroke and it's not always how you want it to be. Um, so a few things that I'm trying to do, one is I'm trying to get my hair in a nice neutral position. One of the common faults I see is people have their head just a little bit too far up on their swimming. So as they swim, their head just a little bit too far up and that just makes their breathing harder because they have to come up when they breathe instead of having the head in a nice neutral position and then rotating to the hips and breathing to the side. So that's something which I'm trying to work on. Now, as you're watching the video, my head has just come away from the arm a little bit as I breathe, but I'm still trying to make sure I'm breathing with my body and with my hips. So it's a, it's a rotation when I breathe with my body and my hips. I'm not turning my head, which can cause the whole body to go offline. I'm trying to have it nice and smooth and keeping half the goggle in the water and half the hat in the water when I breathe. So just have a look for that in my video see if I do it or not. Uh, the other thing which I like to do is, when I'm swimming, the start of the stroke, I just have a little catch with my hands. And what that does is that often, a lot of people when they go to breathe and when they're stretching out in front, the hand just drifts down, 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 down. And they can be quite low down before they're actually trying to breathe. So just that little catch, it's just initiating the stroke. It's almost sending a message to your body without you having to think about it that the stroke's gonna start, and then your hand is angled, and you start to get your elbow over, and you're pushing that water behind you. So, you know, again, watch my video, see how I'm doing there, I'm just trying to have a little catch with my hand, just to start that stroke, and push all the way through. Um, so anyway, I hope you liked the video of uh, me swimming, um, All's Water Swim Place, I'm here every day, you can look online at allswaterswimplace.com, and, any questions, just put them in the comments below, uh, but thank you very much. Again, it's not me, and I'm just talking to somebody else. Um, yeah, so there's a few okay there, sort of a nice long line in the water. My head has come away my shoulder a little bit there. I'm really trying to focus on rotating around with my body and my hips so my head's not twisting too much. Arms out in front of me, let's see what my catch is there. That's okay for me, so what I like to do, I like to, my hand starts to move just before my other hand enters the water. Look like my thumb came in a little bit early there. But it's got a high elbow-ish. Could have been a little bit more of an angle on that arm. But it's not too bad. Pushing the water behind me. That's what I'm telling a lot of people a lot of the time is that you've got to push that water behind. Otherwise you're not going to go very far. Um, and yeah, there's air coming out. My nose, which is good. Um, Getting rid of the air because I breathe every two most of the time. Just gotta make sure that we got enough out of the tank for my next breath. So although I could do with my head being a bit close to my arm, at least you can see here the goggles under the water, and you can still see the side of my hat, so I'm not lifting my head up too much. Um, and also I I prefer to have a little bit of a catch at the start there, so my hands just catch that water early on, so that it activates my pull going through. So you can see there my hand as well, just catching that water out in front of me. And then get the water pushed along the side. So I often talk to people about having rails down beside me, and that's where 
So I'm sort of going along a rail, so my hand's not going too far underneath me. And my thumb, I often have my thumb out, but my thumb often just clips my thigh as well. That's just a little, a little reminder when my hand exits the water that my thumb is coming out. Um, my hand's coming out, down by my thigh, not coming out too early. So let's just put it tilt there, that last one. Yeah, my hand came in a little bit on that one. It's hard when you, when you examine every single stroke. It's a bit tricky, but that's not bad. Hands, next hand going in the water. This hand's just started pulling. I mean, my, yeah, that's how, that's roughly where I like to get it. The hand's just initiated before the other hand comes in. And then body rotation for that breath. Well, I need to work on that head position a little bit on the breathing. But, yeah, I'm not doing as much as I like to at the moment, so... 